We're on day Z on Xbox One. We're doing the achievements. Uh, I'm the fire starter. And that's for starting a fire in multiple ways. So we're going to kind of go over the details on this. It's a bit hard to get. Uh, you got to get the right materials in order to do it. Uh, basically, we'll need a hatchet, some sort of knife object. You know, a hatchet, similar item. Uh, we're going to need matches. Start the fire that particular way. You see the matchbox right there. It's important. We're going to need a flare. And this is assuming you're doing it all at once. You could do it, you know, maybe at certain different times. Uh, road flare. And then we're going to make the, the fire starter kit. So first off, we're going to want to make a basic fireplace. So this is really easy. Uh, we're going to go to a bush. We're going to kind of cut it down. We're just going to gather our supplies here. So we got it here. See on the ground, we got a long stick. We also have one in the inventory. So that's going to be important. Uh, so with that, we're going to need to take a wooden stick, which we didn't get. We're going to have to go cut a tree. It's a little bit more intense. There we go. So we've got our firewood. And then we're going to combine it with the rag and that will allow us to craft a fireplace. So we did do the stick for good reason. Don't don't worry about it. There's still a purpose to it. So go to a tree with an axe, a hatchet, something like that and take a rag to it and then create a fireplace. And you can pick up the fireplace and you can put it other places too if you'd like to. You can put the hatchet back in our hands or our inventory. Now we're going to do step one which is the road flare. So we turn on the road flare we go to the fireplace, we hold RT on it, and that will ignite the fire. There we go. Step one. Fancy, right? I'm also going to show off how to cook a steak on a stick. So you need a long wooden stick, which is what we broke down from the bush. You put it in your hands. You click over the food type with the B button to combine it, and it puts it on the stick. Then we're going to take the stick with a piece of steak, we have an apple here, same thing with the steak, exact same with that type of food. You go up to a campfire that's been lit and you hold RT on it in order to cook said item. You can use any type of steak, uh, chicken or person is probably easiest, but there are other animals out there that you can use any type of steak. Put it over the fire, cook it to full, and there you go, you'll have that achievement as well. And now we're going to jump on to the rest of the actual uh, fire starting techniques. So there we go, that's part one of this thing. We're gonna throw that flare down. We're gonna pick up our hatchet again. Just gonna move through the inventory for the lettuce. We're gonna break down the tree. I guess you could also let the fire run out, but it's probably easier just to do it again. Okay, cool. So there's that. We got another log. Combine it with a rag, craft our fireplace. Don't worry, we just had a little bit of a stutter there in the performance. Cool, we got another fire. We're going to take our matches. Again, that's what the matchbox looks like. Uh, you'll commonly find them in standard houses on kind of tables, desks, stuff like that. Uh, they're actually quite common. Uh, you won't find them everywhere but most towns you'll likely come across matches they're not exactly rare when it comes to the flares you'll likely well you always spawn with one at least you do right at this current point uh, or you get them off dead bodies or people throw them around you might find them in the world they're they're quite common to come across so cool we've got the matches in our hand see they're in our hands again and we're going to go over the fireplace see if you're not over the fireplace it doesn't show up you get the little icon hold rt and you ignite with the matches and that is how you get the second part of the fire. Oh, fancy. There we go. We're getting huge fires. Hopefully this does not draw the uh, attention of, of other people because that would not be good. Great. So the next part of it is a little bit harder to do, but not difficult. So you need like a knife or something because what we're going to be doing to the tree is a little bit different than we've normally been doing. So we're going to be cutting off a piece of bark. So you get a knife or a similar type of sharp objects like one, and then you cut it off, 
and you get a piece of bark on the ground. Cool. Then we're going to go over here to our wooden stick that I hope is it's probably still there. Yeah, there we go. All right, we've got our long stick. Sorry, just kind of messed up there. And then we're going to take our our knife and we're going to use it on the lo the long stick in order to split the long stick. And then we're going to throw that in our inventory. And then you can see we have a short stick now. And then we combine that with the bark in order to make a fire hand drill. So we're going to do that away from things just so you can clearly see it on the screen. Just to recap, in case that wasn't clear, you get bark from the tree using a knife. You cut a bush using a knife or an axe, whatever you want. You'll get a stick. The stick looks like the thing on my back. Inventory-wise, it looks like this. See that in the middle pop up with a tooltip, long stick. You take the stick with the knife, and then you're able to split it to a short stick that you can see in my hands right now. Then you take the short stick, you combine it with the wood bark, and then you make sure the recipe is on the right one, and then you craft a wooden fire drill, or whatever it's called. Hand drill. Sure. Drop that put the hand drill in your hands. We'll just wave over it so you can see the icon pop up. Simple hand drill used to start a fire and then we're going to start a fire the exact same way that we started the other fires. Again, very easy to do and then the achievement will unlock but we're just going to show off the full method of it just so you know what is going on. See, we've got our little fires going there. Pretty cool, right? Again, we're going to take our hatchet. Sorry, I've got a lot of inventory stuff. Go to the tree, cut the tree to get some more wood. Take the wood in our hands, use it with, and we're out of rags. That's not fantastic. We're adding an extra layering of teaching to this one. So if you don't have rags and you need rags and you're desperate to get the achievement and you don't care, Take off your clothing, throw it on the ground, grab an axe or similar cutting object, and break apart your jeans or your shirt or whatever you want, and you'll get more rags that you can then use with it to craft a fireplace. There we go, we got our fireplace going. We've got the last part of this, which is the not the hatchet. Come on, work with me today, inventory. The hand drill kit. And then once again, we go over with RT. We start the fire. Our person gets down. No, it's a little bit harder to do this, and it might not work every time. It also depends on, like, rain and stuff. But then we get the last fire going. And the achievement unlocks. I don't know if the achievement thing picked up on the mic but there it is ignited a fire using a matchbox a road flare and the bark so other details for fireplaces if you don't have rags on you which are pretty common uh, you can also use bandages you can use paper books that may come back but I don't think they're in the game right now uh, you can also use oak bark which would have made a lot more sense than me ripping up my jeans because I'm actually using this character to survive. Um, and uh, birch bark. If you're wanting to add fuel, you can add the firewood, the wooden sticks, or more kind of rags to it. And if you want to make your fires more impressive, sorry, I'm just like little extra details in case you are curious about this. Uh, you can make stone ring fireplaces by adding stones around it. Or you can add a, a tripod to it, and you can do like a top cooking thing, you know, cooking tripod, kind of neat little items. So to recap, mostly what you're going to need is a number of rags, you're going to need a hatchet, and some sort of knife option. And there's like a, you can use an axe too, in place of the hatchet. Then you just need an area where you've got trees, you've got a bush, cut the bush, get the stick, split the stick, Grab the bark with the knife, 
make the hand fire drill like I showed, use it on the fire to make like start it and ignite it, or just use the road flare, point it at the fire place that you've built, and it will ignite or matches. And the matches again are found commonly in houses and everything like that. They're not impossible to get, you'll definitely come across them because they are fairly common. And it's not a hard achievement, and I hope this helped. And if you have any additional questions, let me know. But I think I basically covered all the key elements of how to do this properly. Uh, if you're getting the achievement, that will have unlocked it. And it unlocks pretty quick now at this point. And uh, if you're just trying to start a fire, I guess this was a pretty good guide in regards to covering all elements of fire crafting within DayZ on the console. And yeah, I hope you uh, found this helpful.